In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to back up everything on your Chromebook before you power wash or factory reset it. In another video, Timmy shows you how to actually power wash your Chromebook, but power washing your Chromebook will completely remove all the files and apps and settings and everything else from it. So before you do that, you'll probably want to make sure everything on your Chromebook is backed up somewhere else. This part is very important because if you don't make sure all of your files are backed up first, they will be completely gone forever. The best place to start is probably the actual files in the Files app. So if you go ahead and open up the Files app, any files in the Google Drive section here, so the files in Google Drive, or any files in a USB, a flash drive, or a SD card, or external hard drive, or something down here, all of those files will be completely safe right where they are because they're not actually stored on the Chromebook. But any files in this My Files section here, so any files right here or in a different folder in here, like downloads or camera or anything, will all be permanently removed when you power wash your Chromebook. So it's very important that if you have any files anywhere in here, you make sure they're all backed up somewhere else. And you pretty much have two different options for this. You can move them all to Google Drive if you want, and then they'll all upload and be stored on Google Drive. And that can be really handy if you just have a few files you want to back up. But if you have a lot of files in this My Files section and you try to upload them all to Google Drive, it can end up taking a long time for them all to upload to Google Drive over the internet. And then once they get to Google Drive, they can often end up taking up too much space on your Google Drive storage. So if you have a lot of large files in this My Files section here that you want to back up, you might want to get a USB flash drive or an external hard drive, or an SD card, or something like that, and then put all of your files on that drive instead of in Google Drive. And Timmy has an entire separate video where Timmy shows you how to use a flash drive on a Chromebook and how to put files on a flash drive. But if you just have a few files and you want to put them on Google Drive to make it nice and easy, all you would need to do is select all the files. So we're just in the My Files folder at the moment, not inside another folder. So if we click on the top file here and then scroll down and hold on the Shift key on the keyboard and click on the bottom file, we can select all of these files and then drag and drop them into My Drive. And you might actually want to create a new folder inside Google Drive that's named something like files from my files or something. So you can keep all these files specifically organized. But then, as you'll see here, it hasn't actually moved the files into Google Drive. It just copied them across to Google Drive. So the files are actually now on Google Drive and they're also on your Chromebook. And you can delete these files from here if you want to, so that you can see that there's no more files left in here. But it really doesn't matter because in a few minutes, we're going to power wash the Chromebook and they'll all be deleted anyway. So that's up to you. And you will need to remember, it's not just about the files in this My Files folder. It's any files inside a folder inside My Files. So if you double click on downloads to go in there, you might have a whole lot of files in here that you need to move to Google Drive or a flash drive or something. So you want to select all of these files as well and drag them across to My Drive and drop them in there. And if we go back out of that, if you have files in the camera folder, or maybe you have another folder that's just named something else and you have files in there, you need to go through all those folders and gather up all those files and move them across into Google Drive or a flash drive or something and Linux files 
So if you have Linux apps on your Chromebook and you have files in there, you might want to move that across. If you don't know what that means, don't worry, you probably don't have Linux apps, but if you do, you'll need to do that. And inside play files, Android apps will sometimes save files into different folders in here. So you might just want to look through each of these folders in play files and just make sure there are no other files that you want to keep. So in this case, there's nothing really in any of these folders, but if you did, you would probably want to copy them across to somewhere else where they'll be safe. So you just need to make sure you go through all of these different folders and all of these different files and any file you want to keep, make sure you either put it on a flash drive or hard drive or Google drive or somewhere. And if you upload it to Google drive, it can take quite a while for all the files to upload to Google drive. If you have a lot of files, so you just want to keep an eye on that and make sure you wait until it's all completely uploaded to Google drive before you power wash your Chromebook. But apart from that, that's really all you need to do in the files app. If you come up here to recent, you will see there are a lot of files in here, but recent is not really a proper folder. It actually just shows you all the different files in a lot of different places on your Chromebook. So it's really best to just ignore recent and as long as all the files in my files are backed up somewhere, you'll be completely safe. And one other thing you should keep in mind is any files in the trash folder. So any files you've deleted within the past 30 days will be permanently deleted forever once you power wash, but you probably don't care too much about that because these are files that you've deleted anyway. So once you've looked through all that and made sure that's all good, you can really just close the files app. And that's really the most important thing you need to do. But there are a few other things you should probably do before you go ahead and power wash your Chromebook. If you open up Google Chrome, all of your Chrome data, like your browsing history and your bookmarks and your Chrome extensions and everything like that should be synced to the cloud automatically. So it will automatically restore whenever you sign into Chrome on any other device, but you probably just want to go into the Chrome settings and make sure that all of those backups have not been disabled for some reason. So if we go up to the three dots in the top right hand corner here, and click on that and then come down to the bottom of this menu and click settings. Now in the settings, the settings look fairly bare here, but there's this option that says sync and Google services. So you just need to click on that. And then in here, just the thing up the top that says manage what you sync. And now, as you can see here, it's set to sync everything. And that's the way you want it to be. It could be set to customize sync. And if it's set to customize sync, you really just want to make sure all of these settings are turned on so that it syncs everything. So if that was turned off for some reason, you would just click on that to turn that on to make sure everything is synced. But as long as it's set to sync everything, or customize sync with all the settings turned on, you'll be pretty much good to go there. So you can go ahead and close that tab. And while we're in Chrome, any extensions you have installed will be automatically reinstalled for you. If you sign back into your Chromebook after you power wash it, or if you sign into Chrome on any other device, but some extensions like this one here called session buddy, actually store some data on your Chromebook. And if the data is stored on your Chromebook, it will be lost when you power wash it. Most extensions these days actually back up all their data to the cloud automatically and have you sign into an account. And then when you sign into that account on any other computer, it'll sync that data. So for most extensions, it will all be good. You just have to sign back into your account, but with some extensions like these, you'll hopefully find a backup or export option somewhere in the settings. That way 
You can create a backup file of all the data on the extension, and then you can restore it when you're in Chrome on a different device or after you've power washed this one. So if we click on Session Buddy up here to pull up that extension, if we click on the Settings icon here, every extension will look quite different. So unfortunately, you'll just sort of have to figure out for your extension if you have any extensions like this. But you'll hopefully find a Settings menu somewhere somewhere in the extension, and somewhere in that Settings menu will be an option to Export or Backup. And it's probably best to choose Backup if there is one, but Export will also do the job. So to me, we'll click Backup here. And as you can see, it's now downloaded a backup file of all the data in the extension, but it will probably have downloaded that backup file to the Downloads folder in the My Files section. So when you power wash your Chromebook, that backup file will actually be deleted. So what you'll need to do is actually open up the Files app again and go into the Downloads folder here and find the backup file you just created. It'll probably have the name of the extension in the name of the file. And then just click and drag and drop that file into Google Drive. It'll probably be a really small file, so it's probably easiest to just drop it in Google Drive. But if you're using a flash drive or something, and you wanna have all your files backed up into the one place, you can drop it in there, that'll be fine as well. You just need to make sure it's no longer in the My Files section. And then you can restore the backup in the extension after you power wash your Chromebook or in Google Chrome on a different computer. That way, you can still keep all of your local data from that extension and use it in the future. So, if you have any extensions like that, you want to look through the settings menu in each of them and see if there's a way you can export the data. With most extensions, you won't have to do this at all. It'll either just back up all your data to the cloud or it'll be something like this screenshot extension where there's not really any data in it. You just click the button and it saves a screenshot to your files app. But for the few extensions that you need to do this for, you just need to go through and do that. And you might also need to do the same with Chrome apps. Chrome apps aren't very common these days because people usually just use either a website or an Android app. But a Chrome app is basically a Chrome extension that acts as its own separate app. And if you have any Chrome apps on your Chromebook, you might need to back it up just like you would with an extension. All of your Chrome apps will be automatically reinstalled on your Chromebook for you, just like extensions. And a lot of Chrome apps sync data to the cloud, so you won't have to do anything for most of them. But certain apps, like this one called Sticky Notes, that allows you to create sticky notes on your Chromebook will save all of the data on your Chromebook. So for a few apps like this, you'll need to find a way to manually export that data if it's possible at all. So if you come into the app, you'll hopefully find a settings button somewhere to go into a settings menu. And then you'll scroll down in the settings menu or something and look for a button that says export all notes to file, or maybe backup or export, or just some button that sounds like it will create a backup for you. So we'll go ahead and click that. And in this case, it's actually brought up a window of where you want to save the export file to. It might just download to your downloads folder. And if it does that, You'll need to then go in, into the Files app and manually move the file somewhere else. But because it's given us this window here, we can actually just choose Google Drive straight away and then click Save to save it directly into Google Drive. And then there'll be nothing more you need to do. But if it doesn't and it downloads into the Downloads folder, you'll just need to open up the Files app again, go into the Downloads folder and find the backup file and then move it into Google Drive or onto a flash drive or something, 
just like you've done with all the other files. But now you can go ahead and close all these different apps and you can close Chrome as well. So you can close all of that. And the next thing you want to do is open up the settings app. So if we come down and click on this circle button in the bottom left hand corner to pull up the app launcher, you'll just need to scroll down until you find the settings app and click on the settings app to open up that. And now you'll just need to scroll down a bit until you get to the accounts section here where it says accounts. And then down here, click sync and Google services. And then in this menu, click manage what you sync. And now you'll see this menu that kind of looks like what we saw in the Google Chrome settings. It's an option where you can either have it set to sync everything or you can have it set to customize sync. So you can have it customize sync and turn on all the options or if it's set to sync everything, that'll be good too because it'll sync everything. But you just want to make sure whatever, however it's set in here, it's set so that everything will be synced. So unlike the menu we were looking at in Google Chrome, as you can see, this is more syncing the settings for Chrome OS specifically. So it's the apps and settings and Wi-Fi networks and wallpaper. So now all of these settings and wallpapers and everything will all be synced to your Google account. So when you sign in, sign back into your Chromebook after you power wash it, or when you sign into a different Chromebook in the future, all of these things will come across. But one thing you want to keep in mind is it says apps here. And that means when you sign in to your Chromebook or a different Chromebook in the future, it will start automatically downloading all of the Android apps that you currently have installed. And that's really handy because then all of those Android apps will be on there waiting for you. But all of the apps will be just like they were when you first installed them. So none of your settings and everything and accounts will be in those apps. They'll be just like brand new. So for most apps these days, you'll probably have an account for that app. So you'll just need to open up each app and sign in with your account in all the different apps and then everything will be there. But with some apps and games, your app settings or game progress and things like that will not be restored. And unfortunately, there's often not much you can do about that to back that up. So it's just worth keeping that in mind. Sometimes they might have a way of saving stuff to a different file or to the cloud or something. So if there's a really important app, you might want to look through and see if there's something you can do. But often you just sort of lose that and have to start afresh. But hopefully that's not too much of a big deal. And Another thing you might need to do before you power wash your Chromebook is back up the Linux apps if you have them installed on your Chromebook. If you don't know what this means, you probably don't have Linux apps on your Chromebook, so you can just skip this step. But if you do have Linux apps on your Chromebook and you want to back them up so that you can easily restore them with all their settings and everything after you power wash, you'll need to come into the settings here but not in this menu. So we'll go out of that. And now you'll need to scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen and then click on advanced down the bottom here. And then that'll bring up some more options and you'll need to scroll down to the bottom of those more options until you find developers here. And if you don't have Linux apps installed, there'll be a button here that says setup or something. So if that's the case, you don't need to do anything. But if there's this arrow button here, that means you do have Linux apps. So you probably will want to do this. So we'll click on this arrow to go into the Linux settings. And then in this menu here, you'll need to click on backup and restore. So now we have an option to restore and backup. And obviously we don't have anything to restore yet. We're backing up. So we'll need to click back up. And now it will bring up this file window 
so you can choose where you want to save the backup file to. And you'll, you won't want to save it into the My Files section, obviously, because then it will be deleted when you power wash your Chromebook. So instead, you'll want to save it to a flash drive or something, if you have that connected. Or you can just save it into Google Drive, which is what Timmy's going to do. So you click on Google Drive or on the flash drive, and then just click Save here. And now, as you'll see in the bottom corner here, it will start creating a backup of all your Linux apps and all your Linux files, and it'll compress them into one backup file you can have saved on Google Drive or a flash drive or something. And this can take a little while, depending on how many Linux apps you have and how good your Chromebook is, but you'll just need to wait until the progress gets to the end here and it finishes. So we're on 10%, 11 now, so we'll just wait for that to finish. And now, once it says backup complete here, you're done. All of your Linux apps and Linux files are in this backup file, which should now be on a flash drive or on Google Drive, so you can restore it very easily later. You don't actually have to do this if you don't want to. You could just reinstall the Linux apps manually if you only have one or two, but if you have Linux apps on your Chromebook and you want to keep them, this will be the easiest way of doing it. And last but not least, if you have any other user accounts on your Chromebook that show up on the login screen like this every time you turn it on, maybe because you share your Chromebook with someone else, or maybe you just like having separate profiles for different things, any other user account you have on your Chromebook like this will also be removed when you power wash. If you don't have any other user accounts, this obviously won't be an issue for you, but if you do have other user accounts, you'll need to sign out of your current account. So we'll close that and dismiss that, and then click on here and click sign out. And now on this sign in screen with all the other accounts, you'll need to sign in to each account that you have on your Chromebook and basically repeat the same process. So back up any files you have to Google Drive or a flash drive and make sure all the backup settings are enabled and everything like that. So it might actually be a good idea to go back to the start of this video for each account you back up and watch through and just make sure you back up all the different things and do everything you need to do in each different account. That way, all of your user accounts, if you have multiple, will all be safely backed up, ready for when you power wash your Chromebook. And now, you're ready to go ahead and power wash your Chromebook. So, Timmy will see you in the next video, where Timmy shows you how to actually power wash your Chromebook and clear everything off it. And then, Timmy will see you in another video, where Timmy shows you how to restore all of the data we just backed up. So, whether you want to restore everything on this Chromebook after you've power washed it, or you want to restore everything on a new Chromebook and you're getting a new Chromebook, Timmy shows you how to do that in this video.